In week eight of 1998, in the rarefied air of Mile High Stadium, Broncos kicker Jason Elam attempted a record-tying 63-yard field goal just before halftime. You know Jason has that type of leg because you've seen him kick 60, 65 yards or 70 yards in practice. But practice is one thing. We're the only ones out there. Now you got 75,000 fans in the stadium, and it really matters. Spotted at the Bronco 47-yard line. Snap a little high. Elam's kick. Oh. It's a line drive. It's got enough distance. It is oh. 63 yards. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Move over top, Dempsey. And that may be all you need to know about how things have gone for the Denver Broncos all season long. At the end, Jason gets a game ball. Say? Tied to record, longest field goal in the history of the game, 63 yards. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, I went up to Rick Dennison, our special teams coach, and I said, hey, listen, that whole PAT field goal team is a part of history. If I can't get a game ball, I want every one of us to get certificates of participation. So he kind of laughs it off. I go, I'm serious. So every guy on PAT field goal, Rick Dennison made up all these little, you know, 10 by 12 pieces of paper, certificate of participations in the Jason Elam 63-yard field goal. Every guy had one in his locker the next day, so it was really, and we all still have them, I'm sure. Everybody's got their certificate of participation for the 63-yard field goal.